Alright, moving deeper into the island. I got chased down by some of these fuckers. A rocket launcher? Whoa. This isn't good. Hey, like this shit. Should have waited till the rest of you were down there. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Shit, my body armor. Uh. Yep. Why can't I hit you? I don't have any health. I oh, I have a first aid spray. I think I just kind of ran through these guys when I played through the first time instead of putting up a fight. It was just sort of, uh, I'm like, all right, that's enough. And just sort of work to get myself through. Whoa. Embarrassing, I tell you. <laughs> I'm back here. All right, I'm back here. It threw me back quite a ways. Had to uh, work my way back out here. But, I mean, I was a little bit more aware of my environment and the kind of... Uh, environmental hazards I could use like the explosive barrels and all that kind of stuff so a little bit better of a shape working my way through here up oh, okay bunch of motherfuckers down there That's where they keep Ashley hmm Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that did what it did. Seems like a bit of a waste of a grenade, though. Oh, shit. Nest. Not dead. Son of a bitch. You know, this is a nice shotgun, but, but, it's a big but, it doesn't, it has, its spread is way too wide. Like, it just kind of loses practicality. And, like, yeah, shotguns aren't going to have a spread that wide. Oh, okay. This is probably the way I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to see if there's anything down here. Man, I could fault in these right now. Doesn't look like I can get in through here. Need to find another way. Hello, ammunition. 
Oh, I hear a uh, hear a little figurine going off. Where is he at? There he is. I definitely don't have enough of them to. Definitely don't have enough of them for the achievement, but you know, I'll get the ones I can get. Is that everything? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess I could have just gone around these guys. Wouldn't have had to bother killing them. Hello? Just keeping shit like this just around. Crazy. All right, so I need to unlock uh, this somehow. Open. There's an explosive around here somewhere. Hey, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Excuse me for thinking that sh shooting in the face would have staggered him. <laughs> Uh, that's right, the ladder would have just brought me up here. Psst. Security door is accessed from this side of it. Unbelievable. <laughs> so stupid. But whatever. It's a video game. This is vid video game logic after all. Ashley! Ashley! Come on, Ashley, wake up! Shit! Hang in there. There was something up here, isn't there? Ugh. One of them big fuckers. I hate them. But if you can get the jump on them, they're easy enough. They take their bullet sponges. I mean, fucking sponges. But if you get the stealth attack on them, you know they go down just like everyone else. So Ashley is on the other side of the store, and we have to, in Resident Evil fashion, find th three things to yeah, unlock it. Hard. And we can't get through here either, because we need Ashley to go through it. Now, I'd mentioned this before, but I'll repeat myself a million times if necessary. Because <laughs> I got nothing else to talk about. They did a lot to improve their characters in this game compared to the way they were in the earlier version, in the original version. You know, Ashley in particular, I feel like, is an improved character. I didn't really hate the original Ashley the way a lot of other people seem to. I did think she was kind of annoying, but... Her characterization did sort of make sense for who she was supposed to be, or what she was supposed to be. As in, kind of, 
spoiled rich girl who, I mean, president's daughter, not really a rich girl in the normal sense, but sort of a sheltered existence and all that kind of stuff. And she's plucked out of that and she's stuck in this hostile world that's dangerous and she doesn't know how to handle herself and all that kind of stuff. She's not capable of defending herself. And, well... And especially when you combine that with the fact that it's early 2000s or fairly early 2000s uh, style storytelling and voice acting and all that kind of stuff, which is totally normal back then. I can understand why Ashley was the way she was. So, there being a... Oh, I don't even have a knife to stab this guy with, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Not my good knife, though. Anyway, understanding the reason why Ashley is the way she is kind of goes a long way to me accepting her as a character. But she was still kind of annoying, and in the instances where she wasn't going to be in the party, it was actually something of a relief. But in this version of the game, when Ashley's missing, it actually feels like there's something missing from the party. She doesn't really help you in combat or anything. Oh, you're not wearing a helmet. <laughs> so, when this version of Ashley... And when the original version of Ashley was missing, it was kind of a relief because you don't have to babysit her in combat. Or just find places for her to hide or whatever, or give her your healing items. In this version of the game... When Ashley is missing, it actually feels like there's something missing from the game. Yeah, I got everything. Hello. I'll take those. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Why they gotta fuck everything they have up? I mean, this kitchen would have been nice. It's all wrecked. Claustrophobic hallways. Much more reminiscent of Resident Evil 2 Remake. You, uh... You alright, bro? What were you doing in there? <laughs> that doesn't make any damn sense. Catch your eye. Ew. <laughs> Welcome. What can I interest you? Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes. Did That's I pick it? Oh, up? okay. So the small keys that I didn't use. I'll buy almost. Since I didn't anything. open their treasure chest, I just have to sell them. You know, can I carry them over into a new game plus? Maybe I should just hold on to them. I don't know. <laughs> don't. I don't have. Get yourself welcome. Ooh, what are you buying? Stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. <laughs> yes, you already have. So I got quite a bit of money now. But... Buying the infinite rocket launcher requires two million. Now I do have a token that I can, what a trinket that I can stick I've on got. my 
attache case, which reduces the cost by some percentage, but I'm still nowhere near well, that what I need for this. I guess one more new game plus through, run through might uh, give me the what I need. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. Yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, just take this fish. Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, breaks over, I suppose. Ah, uh, uh, we're okay. We're in a, we're in, in an iconic section, so I should end the episode here. I really do have to. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I really do have to put more effort into trying to remember where I am because I don't know where the hell I am right now. I have a fish though. Oh, okay. I know where I am. It's with the regenerators. So I gotta, I've gotta find three uh, things. Fuck! I don't, I don't. Stop showing me that. I get it. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck! Stop it. The main menu. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Damn thing. <laughs> All right. No more. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I disabled the option, so it shouldn't even be trying anymore. <laughs> Fucking stupid. It did it again. Fuck. What are you... Okay. If it happens again, I'm quitting out of the game and starting over. Oh, fuck you. So I've really got to start putting more effort into remembering where I am when I shut the game off, because... Alright, I know where I am now. <laughs> and the other regenerators. And there we go. So this was a memorable part of the original game, although unfortunately it did happen on the island so <laughs> it was kind of uh, a bit of a bummer because like I had mentioned in the previous episodes the original Resident Evil 4 was a touch too long you could have removed some significant parts of it and the game would have just been better for it all right so I gotta I gotta Hit the switch and transfer power around. And then I gotta, you know, open doors. <laughs> so this door won't open, I don't think. Oh, yes, it will. Fuck, dude. Turn your flashlight on. So there's another door that opened. I think in the dissection room. I wasn't really paying too much attention. <laughs> Let me go back. So you got these two different wings. So over on the right side, dissection, power goes on. I switch the power over, the freezer will open instead. So I gotta go and enter the dissection room. And I think that's where the regenerator will attack. Now I have... Oh, shit. I got a stupid puzzle. It's 
So I gotta get power to all three of these lightning bolts. one. Yeah, there we go. Man, is a good system? Oh my god. <laughs> Christ. What kind of experiments are they doing here? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> ah, regenerator. Or however you're supposed to pronounce this. That's what I needed. Now, this motherfucker should attack me. Making sure there was nothing in the room. Alright, so he's got these parasites in him. What do you think? I promise he just wiggles. Come on. You know, I definitely thought I had him. <laughs> I was, I was. He's only got one guy. <laughs> now, when you first run into this thing, you're not actually supposed to have the scope that lets you destroy them. So, you can, like you say, blast their legs off or something, but that doesn't... That's not gonna do it for you. Because they can crawl around on the ground and they regenerate really fast. So, these things are legitimately just freaky as fuck. And you gotta put a lot of effort into putting them down. With the bioscope, you can target their parasites. And if you take out all their parasites, they will die. But without the scope, how are you supposed to how are you supposed to do that? So I would do not trust anything in this room. Another one of these. Just sort of trial and error right here. Making myself out to be a moron. That's the solution. Hey. I didn't 
really want that. I mean, I'll take it, but... This is an optional room. Huh. What is that for? Jesus. Alright, that gives us our... Thank you for your patience while you freeze to death. Oh, that's not good. All right. Shit, again? Unfortunate, but I don't think I have to worry about that. I do think maybe I have to switch the power back over to the other room, though. So, yeah, you're really just supposed to run from these things. Like, you're not supposed to stand a chance against them. Because you just don't have the means to damage them. If you blow off their legs, they'll regenerate or flop around and get back up. If you throw a grenade at them, you may take out their legs or something, but they'll they'll get back up. Alright, I don't have power. I thought for sure that this was supposed to have power when I did that. There's another room over here. Powder. Isn't this like a... Yeah, whatever. So yeah, I, uh, the power is in the wrong building. Wrong place. Although it looks like it's supposed to be in the... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that little exclamation point's where I am. Jesus Christ, I'm such an idiot. buddy. I'm really sorry about this. But you and your buddy who failed to notice me stabbing you in the neck. What the? Hey, explain to me how you didn't die. Okay. He's got a little friend. All right, come on up here. <laughs> yeah, there's a treasure here somewhere. Let's die already. What the hell's wrong with you? I have the audio turned down a little bit so I can't hear the squeaking, squeaking. Not worth it. <laughs> Rifle ammo. Nice. 
really will need that. Alright, so I need to get level 3 key card. Which means I need to go in here. Now, there are a couple of regenerators in here. That one's got a wrench in his gut. There's one there. There's one there. One there. I do not have enough ammo to deal with this. I think there might be some ammunition in here, though. So. There we go. That'll, that'll, that'll help. Some machine gun wasn't what I was using, but I can. There we go. Rifle ammo. Alright. So I'll need to... Let's see if I can get hit. Two in one hit. Get a wrench I needed. Oh, I thought another one broke out. <laughs> okay. There's a bunch of them clustered together. Can I get, like, combo hits? A big no. Right, so I am playing a dangerous game here. If I run out of ammunition while I'm trying to do this, I am so fucked. See, I, I, dead, dead, I hit the thing. I hit the thing and it didn't work. Like, I could not have hit that any better than I did. Shots left. It's not enough. Alright, I got one little. I got one. Can I get it like this? Knowing it's in the building? Billy Bass. There are wrenches all over the damn place, too. And you couldn't actually do it until... You couldn't actually get the damn thing open.
Maybe I just gotta crack. Maybe I can set a trap. Do I have any of these? Bitch can't take him out with explosives. That'd be super convenient. The noise is pretty so weird. I took out all of the regenerators. Um, turns out you can, in fact, take them down with regular weapons. You just have to blast them in the spot where the parasite is, which will expose the parasite. And then from that point, then you can... That's when you can go and uh, take them out. Oh! 
Out of the way. I got him. All? I think I got them all. You know, they all have... I could use some ammo here. <laughs> Okay. Time to go back. Oh, there's some ammo. This is sort of shortcut back, I think, to where we were before. New boxes to break. Oh, it's to hide Ashley in it. Seems like this is something you might have been able to open from the other side. I mean, not that I'm being too harsh on you, Leon. Alright, so I'll end the episode here because we're about to run into Ashley and I want that to be its own episode so thanks for watching there